Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss how we can take reading using this screw gauge. This instrument is known as screw gauge. We will discuss how we can take reading using this screw gauge. Using this screw gauge we can measure the diameter of a thin wire. Okay. At first before taking reading we have to calculate the pitch and the least count of the screw gauge. Okay. Now at first we will calculate the least count of the screw gauge. Okay. At first I am showing the scales of the screw gauge. This is the linear scale of the screw gauge and this is the circular scale of the screw gauge. Okay. You can see in the linear scale between 1 to 5, 5 divisions are there. In the linear scale between 1 to 5, 5 divisions are there. That means each division in each small division in the linear scale is equals to 1 millimeter. Okay. See this carefully. I am focusing this. Okay. You can see between 1 to 5, 5 divisions are there. That means each small division in the linear scale is equals to 1 millimeter. Okay. In the circular scale, 100 divisions are there. In the circular scale, 100 divisions are there. Okay. Now, now you can see I am just matching this line of the linear scale to the zero of the circular scale. Okay. Now I am rotating the circular scale a complete rotation. Okay. When the zero will come again, we can see the complete rotation is done. Now the complete rotation is done. Now you can see the circular scale is displaced in the linear scale. Now in the linear scale reading, we can see one millimeter. Okay. I'm showing again when we closed this, only one division is there. That is zero. But after one complete rotation, we can see another line which is one millimeter. So due to the one complete rotation of the circular scale, the distance covered or the displacement occurred of the linear uh, displacement of the circular scale on the linear scale is one millimeter. Due to one complete rotation of the circular scale, the displacement of the circular scale is one millimeter. That is known as the pitch of the screw gauge. So here we can write the pitch of the screw gauge is one millimeter. Okay. Now the formula of the list count is pitch divided by number of circular scale division. Here the pitch is equals to 1 millimeter and the number of circular scale division is 100. So the list count will be 0 0.01 millimeter. Okay. This is the list count. Now we have to take the reading. If it is asked to calculate the diameter of this wire using the screw gauge, then what we will do? We will enter the wire in between this. Okay. And then we will close this. Okay. You can get a sound of closing. That means this is closed. Now we will see the reading. Here you can see only the zero mark is observed in the linear scale. So the linear scale reading is zero. One millimeter division is not showing here. Only one uh, line is there in the linear scale. That means the uh, value of the linear scale reading is zero. Okay. So we are writing the linear scale reading. The linear scale reading is equals to 0 millimeter. Now we have to see the circular scale reading. You can see here that this was 0. Right? I am showing. This was 0. That means this was 10. This was 20. This was 30. Right? You can see here the straight line of the the horizontal line of the uh, linear scale is exactly matched with the division 31 of the circular scale right how we are getting 31 this was 0 that means this is 10 this is 20 and this is 30 and now the horizontal line of the linear scale is exactly coinciding with the 31 number division of the circular scale okay so the circular scale reading will be, so the circular scale reading will be 31. So the total reading is equals to 0 plus 31 into 0 0.01. That is equals to 0 plus 0 0.31 millimeter this is the diameter of this resistance wire okay now we have to calculate the error 
we have to calculate the error of this instrument okay to get the error at first we have to close this completely i'm closing this you can get a sound right i am i have closed this you can see the zero mark you can see the zero mark of this circular scale is above the horizontal line of the linear scale division right the zero mark of the circular scale is above the horizontal line of the linear scale division if the zero mark of the circular scale is above the horizontal line of the linear scale then this is known as negative zero error okay so in this uh, instrument we can see negative zero error now i am showing that uh, how the structure will be if there is a positive zero error if it is like this if zero is if the zero of the circular scale is below the uh, horizontal line of the linear scale then it is positive zero error if the two line if the zero mark of the linear scale if the zero mark of the circular scale coincided with the horizontal line of the linear scale then no error is there okay so if this is the situation then it is known as negative zero error if this is the situation then it is known as positive zero error and if this is the situation then it is known as zero error no error is there okay now we will calculate uh, in our instrument what is the type of the error and what is the value of the error okay i am closing this again now you can say negative zero error is there and the what uh, the horizontal line of the linear scale is exactly coinciding the sixth line of the circular scale this is zero this is five and the uh, horizontal line of the linear scale is coinciding the sixth line of the circular scale right and we can see negative zero error is there so in our case the error is like negative zero error error is like negative zero error and the value is minus 6 into the least count okay we are putting this minus sign because the val uh, this is negative zero error so uh, we are putting this minus sign here if it is positive zero error then we will put a positive sign here okay so the value of e is 0.06 mm okay this is the value of the error we have already calculated that the diameter of the resistance wire is 0.31 mm right now we will write the corrected diameter now the corrected diameter of the resistance wire is 0.31 mm minus error this minus sign is constant always we will put the minus sign if it is positive zero error or it is negative zero error we will put this minus sign here but for negative zero error this sign will be minus and for positive zero error this sign will be plus okay but this minus sign will always be there for negative or positive zero error and 0.31 minus in place of e we will place the value of the e so the value will become 0.31 plus 0.06 this should be 0.37 mm this is the corrected diameter of the resistance wire i hope you understand this if you have any doubt regarding this true gauge instrument then uh, you can ask in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you everyone